Hey guys, let us learn about embryological structure and the female and male counterparts developed from these structures. So there are two tables uh, that summarizes these structures and I have got few mnemonics for you to remember. So let us start. Now, uh, genital ridge is for ovaries and testes. So this is the basic point starting with the gonads. Genital ridge is for ovary and testes. Coming to the primordial germ cells, ovary and sperm, ova and uh, sperma spermatozoa are cells right so two primordial germ cells are spermatozoa and ova coming to labiocrotal swelling so labia here indicates labia majora and scrotum here indicates scrotal swelling is scrotum so labia majora and scrotal swelling so you are left with labia minora you give it to the next one that is urogenital folds urogenital folds has the word ura in it so it indicates urethra of penis that is penile urethra and this folds is for labia minora so majora is about swelling and minora is about folds coming to genital tubercle so remember as g is for glands and cl is for clitoris so genital tubercle is for glands clitoris which is female part coming to its counterpart in male it will be penis right glands penis so glands clitoris and glands penis coming to genital tubercle so remember it as in the west there is an awesome tub in a cave so west here is vestibular bulbs and awesome means cap corpus cavernosum and uh, corpus spongiosum so this awesome tub is in the west tub meaning genital tubercle so remember like genital tubercle gives vestibular bulbs in females and corpus cavernosum and spongiosum in males so this completes the first table and now let's get uh, discussing about this second table which is about sinus urogenital sinus Sinus is all about glands. So there are four different glands names that you need to remember. And we always tend to confuse here, guys, that is Bartholin similar to skeins or is Bartholin similar to bulbourethral or is Cowper similar to greater vestibular. So all these names are confusing. So here I have got a mnemonic for you. There is a uh, this mnemonic called great bar and pups have pro pros and cons. So remember great bar meaning greater vestibular glands have bar that is Bartholin's glands great bar meaning greater vestibular glands and Bartholin glands in the previous slide we read about vestibular bulbs that is different this is about glands because sinus is all about glands that is vestibular bulb and this is vestibular gland so greater vestibular gland is about bar great bar and pu meaning paraurethral and urethral is for skin glands so paraurethral or urethral glands are also called as skin glands so great bar and pups coming to pros and cons pros is prostate and cons is cowper's gland which is otherwise called as bulbourethral glands so don't do not confuse this b with this b of bartholin because you already have great bar here right so bar meaning bartholin and great meaning greater vestibular glands so this completes about the sinus coming to the sex cords se is seminiferous tubules and sertoli cells and here this is granulosa cells so se is seminiferous tubules sertoli cells and granulosa cells in female coming to gubernaculum the name such as gubernaculum testis and this side it is round ligament female side and then comes the mesonephric tubule Remember a mnemonic peep here. You peep through a tubule, right? Tubule meaning pipe. It's like a pipe. So you you peep through a pipe. That is P E. That is para oophoron and epi oophoron on the female side, and E P. That is efferent ductules and paradidymis on the male side. So there are many P's in this chart, like paradidymis, prostate, prostatic uticle. There are many P's, but don't confuse, guys. It's actually uh, the fa sound here. Uh, this mesonephric mesonephric tubules have fa sound epo oophoron para oophoron efferent ductule so everything is about fa sound or f's in uh, mesonephric tubule remember like that coming to mesonephric duct or ulfian duct and para mesonephric duct or mullerian duct so this mesonephric duct and para mesonephric duct are the most important ones in this entire uh, two tables the, there is a mnemonic uh, in a garden there is a male cat saying meow so this is me is mesonephric duct and w o that is o w is wolfian duct so mesonephric or wolfian is same and this is for the male parts mainly epididymis ductus deferens and ejaculatory duct uh, derives from this male one that is mesonephric duct in the female one since it is a male duct in the female one the remnant structure will be left over right that is the gardener's duct so the garden coming to paramesonephric or mullerian duct 
it is about female because we read about mullerian agenesis dysgenesis like uh, arcuate uterus septate uterus and all in females right so mullerian is for female what are those female structures meaning fallopian tube and then uterus then cervix then vagina so in this order fallopian tube uterus cervix and vagina are derived from uh, female duct that is paramesonephric or millerian duct coming to the male part it is about prostatic utricle and appendix of testis these are the remnant structures from the mullerian duct in the male part now here you have two different terms guys uh, these are uh, appendix of testis and appendix of epididymis so both are appendix only appendix of testis is what we read in the last one that is paramesonephric and mullerian part whereas appendix of epididymis is about uh, mesonephric or wolfian so remember guys epididymis develops from the main male duct whereas appendix of testis develops as the remnant so this is the important point you need to remember now uh, let us try and solve few questions guys so uh, let me ask you a few parts and uh, you try to guess it from the mnemonics that we have discussed now so let me ask you now uh, yeah the round ligament of uterus develops from which part so yeah it is from gubernaculum testis because gubernaculum gives gubernaculum testis on the male side and it's about round ligament on the female side so this is how uh, you get the questions guys like they ask you about a structure and they ask you about uh, from which part they develop from now let's say bartholin's glands so Bartholi's glands are from which structure? So firstly, glands is for sinuses, right? So this develops from a sinus that is urogenital sinus. And what is the other name of this Bartholin glands? It is great bar, right? So greater vestibular glands is otherwise called as Bartholin's glands. Coming to vestibular bulbs. Vestibular bulbs is that west side story, right? That vestibular cave is there and in that an awesome tub is there so this is regarding vestibular or genital tubercle right so, genital tubercle gives rise to vestibular bulbs and this genital tubercle also has g for glands and cl for clitoris glands clitoris in female and glands penis in male so this is how they ask you questions guys Try to answer this question in the comment section guys and please like, share and subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming with more such videos. Thank you.